Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be extending on last time's video. Today we're going to be doing a little bit more on gears and how we can convert circular motion into linear motion. Alright, so here we have a new piece. This is called a rack. And what a rack is, it's basically um, like a long rectangular bar with gear teeth on top. And what this allows us to do is it allows us to convert rotational motion into linear motion. You can see the one point on this gear, it's rotating, right? Um, if we want its uh, mechanism to move side to side, we usually use these racks. So how do we modify the speed of this? How do we modify this work of this? It's actually based off of the size of this gear. As the gear spins, it drives the pinion forward or backward. And the gear ratio here is actually just based on the amount of teeth that's on the gear. If we have more teeth in the gear, then it means that we have a faster pin pinion, but it's moving with less force, right? All right, so here we have a much chunkier gear and you can see that it's moving much faster, right? I don't have to rotate it as much. Um, it's moving much faster. And the trade-off for this is that we actually have less torque on this, right? So it's a lot easier to stop because you're still using the same amount of force, like your hand or the motor is still applying the same amount of force, but um, it's going a longer distance. Imagine you're riding a bicycle, right? Um, if the wheels are super small, then each rotation will only cover the circumference of the wheel, right? Every time you rotate this, it's only going to move how far this is. But if you have larger gears, you'll go much faster, and every rotation you do will take you much further. And um, let's say, like, this rack isn't long enough. You can see here, I actually connected the two by doing this, right? This isn't extremely stable. There are better ways to do this. But this is one way of doing it, right? You can just put a piece here, um, connect these two, and you have a longer rack. All right, so a mechanism that we didn't go over last time was a pulley mechanism. Pulley mechanism is basically the same as using chain and sprockets, except you're using string. And it's much better for pulling things upward. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching today's video. I hope you guys learned a lot about the rack and pinion, and that's basically the main point of this video. Um, linear motion, very good, very important, and that's it. Thanks for watching, everyone. Subscribe. Very cool.